The start of a new year is the perfect time to set some goals. We often think in terms of fitness though, but it's also important to exercise your brain. Amy with the library and with the Grand Rapids Public Library is here to talk about setting reading goals for 2020. Amy, thanks for joining us. So tell of us about course. the programs that you guys offer to support literacy. Yes, um, we have various reading programs throughout the year. We have a summer reading challenge for kids during the summer, and we also have GR Reads for the adults. So we pick some books for you to read, and we also have a lot of suggestions for uh, other books that are that are that seem like they might fit your reading tastes. Mm -hmm. um, we do a lot with the youth in town of, of trying to make reading fun because uh, we're all about reading is fun. It's educational, um, but it's also fun. Mm -hmm. And it's important as an adult to model the importance of reading to your kids too. Mm -hmm. It kind of goes full circle. Absolutely, we do a lot of work with uh, with families encouraging um, early literacy. So we have story times. We do story times both in our buildings and out in the community and uh, really try to make sure that folks understand that connection between reading to your children and um, them being able to pick up reading mm -hmm. on their own. Mm -hmm. And we start the new year ambitious to really maintain <laughs> these goals, but reading is such an important thing to do on a regular basis. How mm -hmm. can people really keep up with this even as the year goes on? Mm -hmm. There are so many tools out there. Uh, you know, you can always use something like Goodreads, to set a goal and then track what you're reading. Um, you know, I know a lot of folks that still use sort of an old fashioned list where they just jot mm -hmm. it down. Um, we also just rolled out a new catalog at the library. I highly recommend everybody check it out. It's got a lot of amazing features for readers. Um, you can track what you've read and what you want to read. You can mm -hmm. um, make book lists or movie lists of your favorites or of, you know, good mysteries to read and you can rate and review what you've read. That's so, great to keep track of all the new cool things. Exactly. And mm -hmm. speaking of that, you have some top picks that you've brought in for us. Can you explain <laughs> some of these books? Oh, absolutely, yeah. So um, these are a couple of titles that I really enjoyed that just came out this past year, so they're fairly new. Okay. Um, and one of them is The River by Peter Heller. And it is a kind of a mix between a suspense thriller and a, kind of a wilderness survival book. Interesting. And yeah. Okay. So there's two young men that are on a wilderness trip. They're fishing on a river and they think that they've witnessed a crime. Hmm. And then there's also a massive forest fire coming their way. So they're not sure how they're going to survive that. Wow, um, lots going on in that book. Hard to put it down, <laughs> yes. Okay. So that, I loved that book. Um, and Great. then uh, the other one that I brought with me is The Island of Sea Women by Lisa C. That one I've heard is excellent. It is excellent, yes. Okay. It is uh, set on the island of Jeju in Korea. Uh, and it was about a time and place that I knew nothing about. Hmm. It was about the, the women divers of Jeju and the friendship between two women that kind of ebbs and flows throughout the decades through wars and occupation, hmm. or yeah, occupation by the Japanese, hmm. by the Americans. Um, it is excellent. Really interesting. Mm -hmm. And you yep. also have different app packs available for people. Mm -hmm. Can you quickly explain oh, what Oh, absolutely. Are? So with a lot of our partners around town, you'll be able to find our app packs. And basically those are because we offer not only print and physical materials, but uh, we offer eBooks, e audiobooks, streaming services. And so these app packs uh, have just a few supplies in them to make your, your streaming and your uh, digital reading uh, a lot easier. That's perfect. I know mm -hmm. I'm a fan of the audio books. Amy, thanks yes. so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Of course, we have all these details too if you missed anything on our website at 13onyourside.com.